wanted to do a reading about tiffany reed calling people out and specifically about calling out beyonce and parkwood because i feel like things are really shifting especially with the age of aquarius and aquarius about technology Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to No Light Time. My name is Hallie, so grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. Um, this was suggested by a subscriber. Thank you so much for being subscribed if you're subscribed. If you're not, please subscribe if you watch my videos frequently. It helps with the algorithm. It helps put me into your feed. And yeah, and I also post community posts and it helps you see them more often if you're subscribed. I decided to do this because I feel as though and it was suggested and I also decided to do this I decided based on the suggestion to do this because I have called out in the past year or so actually two years now that I strongly feel like the world is done with Beyonce and I in fact have this theory that a lot of her beehive are actually uh, bots and I've thought this for quite some time but i haven't really elaborated on it but yeah i just strongly feel that especially because i look at lo lots of the comment section and things are really turning around and i feel like it's almost the end of her reign you know so i have been go back and watch my video especially if you're new to my channel welcome thank you um i have been recently well two years ago when khalees who's one of my favorite artists of all time uh did a video about calling out beyonce saying that she stole her music i mean not she stole her music but she stole a sample when she could have just come to her and asked for her permission and a lot of people didn't understand i understood as somebody i make music from time to time i used to um be very much in the music industry i left because of situations like this i really it's a long story long story short i know a lot of people in the music industry and it's a very dark dark industry very very dark and people love to act like it's sunshine and rainbows and everybody gets paid equally and it really doesn't work like that it's very politic driven and very um depends on who you know and what you're willing to do to become successful so with that being said i've always felt as though um beyonce's time is coming i said that about khalees and it's interesting because two years ago i predicted that khalees and jay jay-z had had something not necessarily had something but i felt like jay-z wanted to be with her and somebody just came out and said the same thing um on one of these channels youtube channels i feel leave the called day and night network something like that so i did also predict that jay-z would be next i've been predicting this since the daily news broke i strongly believe jay-z is going to be next to be majorly cancelled and it's almost like things are really really like you know when there's a dam and the floodgates and the floodgates are like jammed that's what i see i see that the floodgates are about to open so I want to do this reading to see because Tiffany Red, who is a songwriter, very, very talented songwriter. Um, I don't know her. I, you know, I used to live in LA, so I met a lot of songwriters. I actually met a lot of dancers because I used to yoga and they would come take my class. A lot of actors, but I never really met that many songwriters. I did meet somebody from a long time ago who worked with Beyonce on the song and I don't I don't want to say what she did because she probably signed an NDA and I think a lot of what she told me she wasn't supposed to tell me um, so I want to protect her um, but I strongly strongly feel like with this Tiffany Red thing coming out all these things coming out it's it's really almost the end of Beyonce's reign I did say that in the video I did a card will be up throughout the video of the last one I did of her so um somebody asked me in the comment section they were like oh did you see tiffany red came out she said that beyonce doesn't write her music it's really it's been an open secret in hollywood for years that beyonce doesn't write her music as somebody that has written music um not famously i wrote for some people but i don't think it's done really that well <laughs> um and i just did it for fun but 
as somebody that's written music and written i used to be a writer it's very upsetting when somebody takes your music takes your lyrics takes what you've put your heart and soul into and trashes it on the floor you know or just like takes it takes a bunch of publishing for it and copies it doesn't give you credit for it which beyonce has done for a while she's done that with people's style she's done that with music it's been an open secret for a very long time so i strongly feel like it's coming out and i think by next year a lot of stories are going to come out that are going to shock people i was a huge i mean i wouldn't say huge but i've always loved beyonce's music i still do i don't like this new country song in this new country songs i love country but i don't think this is country but something that really opened my eyes was there was a south african artist called petite noir that she copied exactly every single thing every every single thing that this artist did and it was very i was appalled she would even think about doing it in this manner so i wanted to do a reading about tiffany reed calling people out and specifically about calling out beyonce and parkwood because i feel like things are really shifting especially with the age of aquarius and aquarius about technology about light about honesty you know and it's happening at such a rapid race that these people that built these systems of mental um shackles uh, and stealing intellectual property these people that built these systems it's crumbling down really really fast and they can't even keep up with it so i feel like that's why she's rushing out the music because of this so i pulled the general energy of tiffany reed versus parkwood entertainment which is beyonce's um, media company and i got nine of fine using the guitar nine of fire nine of air two of water so they're going to try to work with her two of water they're going to try to work with her and be like you know which is what they are going to try to do with Khalees. i think Khalees denied i mean, denied access to them but they she, they're going to try to work with her and she's going to be like you know what? i'm good high priestess because she has a higher calling i read that her son is in capricorn which is very interesting you know i'm so fond of the son of capricorns i always forget i feel bad that i forget about my dear son of capricorns but i feel like they are really like um the the helpers the ushers of the age of aquarius you know because aquarius is partially ruled by saturn i think people forget that so let's see and they work very very hard okay so she might even have she's very intuitive uh justice the call and messenger of earth so very intuitive and she is fed up she wants to speak i think she might have mentioned this too she wants to speak on behalf of other people she wants to sue so i see a lawsuit coming three of earth just three of pentacles a lawsuit coming that's going to give back these writers what they deserve it's going to be big very very big i get by july of 2025 we're going to hear about this it's going to be very big so that's what i have you all i'd love to have to say i will be continuing to talk about this if you want to hear more you can now subscribe subscribe i love you all take care